guys, happy end of April. It is almost, it's gonna be my day. Uh, that might be the day you're watching this. So if it is, get your JT memes out and post them everywhere. It's the best day of the year. It's been a really productive month for me this month. I signed my lease for my apartment for the first time all on my own, which is really exciting. I've always had someone co-sign with me or have a guarantor, and this time for the first time ever, I actually signed my own lease. So that was like a huge milestone moment for me. Also been doing lots of volunteering, which has been really cool, and I've been getting more involved in like the community here in New York, which is exciting because because moving to a new place can be really stressful and really hard. I've had a lot of new favorites this month, so I wanted to go through them because I haven't done one of these in what feels like forever. I think the last time I did it was November, so five months ago. Um, so there's definitely some new things to share with you guys. Uh, the first thing that I'm gonna go into is skincare. So at one of the events that I was volunteering at a couple of weeks ago, I found out about Bioderma, and I've remembered seeing this product like all over the place a couple of years ago and then watching a lot of different companies kind of create uh, very similar products to it like I know Simple has one and Garnier has one the micellar waters but this is like the original this is what everyone is trying to replicate so I was really excited to get my hands on it I have two different ones this is the one that I've been using recently it's the CBM Oh, I hate the word CBM. It just doesn't sound nice. Am I even saying it right? I'm not sure. It's a purifying, cleansing Michelle micelle solution, and this is the one for combination oily skin. I also have the original one, but I've been using this one up. It has kind of like a blue tint. It's really easy to use too. I just take two cotton pads and I put a little bit on two, and then I put those on my eyes, and then I let them soak for a couple of minutes because I feel like it loosens up some of the grip of mascara and eye makeup. And I notice that it takes off even like the most stubborn, waterproof eye makeup that I have. And I noticed that it also leaves my skin feeling really fresh after I use it. Like there's not that like filmy leftover gunk that sometimes you feel after you use like a wipe or something. And I just like that fresh clean feeling. But I've used it pretty much every day since I've gotten it. And I'm excited to try out the original one that they have too, which is more of like a clear version. And they're also selling this on Amazon now, which I didn't know about. I thought it was still like one of those products that was still only in France, you could only get it at the pharmacies, but they've started selling it on Amazon now, which is amazing because it's so much more easy to get a hold of. Next is an old favorite of mine, and it is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Clearing or cleaning? Clearing treatment. I love this stuff. I was obsessed with this a couple of years ago when it first came out, like everyone else on the internet. It is like a black mask, which is confusing to me because they also have a packaging that's black, and I always think that that's a black mask, but it's not. It's the one in the white packaging. It smells really minty and it's super clarifying. So if you put a little bit of this on areas where you have breakouts or a lot of blackheads, like I tend to use it a lot on my nose because I have a lot of blackheads on my nose, it pulls everything to the surface and you can literally see it working after it stays on for a couple of minutes. You'll see like it pooling around the areas where you have blackheads or you have a lot of pores. It's like a miracle in a bottle. I've been waiting for them to have this in travel size for about two years. And maybe they've had it out for a little while, but I haven't been physically into a Sephora store in a hot second because I've been trying to control myself and not buy more products. So I'm really excited to kind of have this back in my stash again after I've been trying to trickle down on the amount of products that I own. I'm glad that it's back in my life and I'm really glad that I picked it up and I've been using it a ton this month. Next into makeup products, the first favorite that I have, I have mentioned this over and over and over again on this channel, I feel like, but it's Boy Brow from Glossier. I am obsessed with this. I love me a strong brow, and this gives it to you so easily. It's just a little brush, and you basically brush it onto your eyebrows, and it just makes them look thicker and fuller, but it's still really natural. I was Skyping with my friend Sam earlier this month, maybe two weeks ago, and she literally was like, Linda, what are you doing to your brows? They look so good, and I was like, let me tell you and I took her over to my little vanity in the corner and I was like let me show you what I use is boy brow I am a living walking talking advertisement for this product I like that it's versatile too because you can basically put a lot of product on the brush 
and like swipe it through and get like a really full big brow or you can kind of swipe it off on the edge a little bit and then you get a more natural feathery brow so I like that it's versatile you can kind of cater to your own preferences or like how you're feeling that day on what you want and I like that it looks natural because I don't like looking like I'm wearing a ton of makeup and this kind of does the trick without looking too made up I've also recently been asked to become a Glossier rep which is really exciting for me if you've seen my videos in the past you know that I talk about their brand so so often because I genuinely love all of their products and because of that they contacted me and asked me if I would work with them and so I was like well duh like I love what you guys do so basically what that means is that I have an own, my own page on Glossier's website and you can go and you can basically shop with me so if you have any questions I can help you answer if you need help like recommending a shade color for your skin tone I used to work in beauty so I have a lot of experience in doing things like that it literally used to be my full-time job but I'm just really excited to work with a company like Glossier where it's all about natural beauty and kind of shining through the inside but my link will be down in the description below if you want to check it out if you're gonna buy from Glossier anyway like I would love to help you I'm not trying to sell anything I'm not trying to push anything on you but I really love the line I love everything they make and um, I would love to help you out if you're interested my next favorite is a highlight and it is from Marc Jacobs and it is called the coconut gel highlight there are the dew drops in the shade do you do spelling D E U like you're dewy. This is so potent. I feel like just a teeny tiny little bit of it goes a really long way and I cannot ever see myself running out of this even though I use it pretty much every single day. I tend to pump just a little bit of it onto my hand and then take it from my hand and then onto my cheekbone, onto my nose or my cupid's bow. There are so many things that you can do with this and I feel like it looks really good on a lot of different kind of skin tones. I've seen a lot of other people use it that have darker skin tones or more rosy skin tones than me and it still ends up looking really natural on them. I'm just a really big fan of the glowy look in general so um, having a highlight that looks natural but still glowy at the same time is a huge plus for me. I actually have a technology favorite this month which is crazy but I recently got the AirPods from Apple and they're saving my life. The fact that these don't have a cord on them makes them so easy to use because I am the kind of person who will want to be on the phone or listening to music and I want something that's wireless so I don't have to carry my phone around with me as well. Um, so I basically just pop these in my ears Oh, there we go. I got my left and my right really confused a lot. <laughs> also, when you put them in your ears, you kind of look like an alien, and I kind of like it, because it's like very incognito. Although, for sure, people have not realized that I'm listening to music or talking on the phone. It's like when those uh, Bluetooth first came out and people had them like around their ears and everyone was like, why, are, why is everyone talking to themselves? I remember my uncle had one and he was like constantly talking to himself when he was actually on the phone. It was pretty funny. The fact that I can walk down the street and not have to worry about a cord being tangled or being in my way is really nice. And also I have literally gotten my cord ripped out of my ears before because like I'm walking too close to something. I'm very clumsy and it just like gets snagged on something and then my headphones get pulled out or they get pulled out of my phone and with these you don't have to worry about that because there ain't no cord. Style favorite for this month is this bag from Madewell. I actually got it monogrammed too which is really cool. You could do either silver or gold and then they had like tons of different like little logos but I just got my initials on it and it's so easy to use. It's like the perfect size for being able to kind of stuff everything that you need into a bag but still like kind of having to limit yourself so you're not lugging around like an umbrella on a sunny day and a plant and a laptop and a hat, you know? I have really bad back problems, so the fact that this is like small enough and cross-bodied enough um, that I can just like carry it around without it being too much of a stress on my back and my spine is a huge plus. And you also have the versatility of being able to take the strap off and carry it like this, like just with your hand or on your arm, and I look like an idiot right now with the strap around me. I like that it's kind of like hole punched out, and it feels very spring, very airy to me. I can't use this on rainy days because 
the water I would be afraid would just go straight through the little holes and into my bag and like into my technology um, that's in my purse but I do like it for spring and I feel like it's pretty versatile it goes with pretty much anything and they have this in a couple of colors I believe they might actually be sold out of it I remember when I got it a couple of weeks ago they were saying that it was like their last one in the store so I will see if I can find it and if I do find it it will be linked below um, but I love this bag I'm obsessed with it and I've been using it pretty much every day for the last couple of weeks since I've gotten it the book that I've been reading is the little book of Huga, not Haiga which is how I've been pronouncing it how embarrassing for as long as I can remember um, they do have a little thing right here that says pronounced who guys so i know that i'm not the only one that's been pronouncing this wrong for for, for like forever basically the book is all about how to create huga how Hugo works what is behind it it's interesting that someone could write an entire book on a concept of a feeling um, of coziness and like togetherness it's also interesting to me because i'm dutch and we have the word gezellig in Holland and I feel like it's very similar to Huga and he actually talks about it in the book. I've been obsessed with pillar candles and getting pillar candles, non-scented pillar candles for the apartment for the last month because in this book it talks about how most Danes like light candles and light unscented pillar candles all around their house and like that's a great way to create Huga. But we're now going into spring and it's getting warmer and spring is less of a hookah time of year. It's more like autumn and winter. So I'm hoping that by the time next autumn and winter rolls around, I can really be into the hookah thing and well prepared and create a very hookah like environment. There's just so many different concepts of hookah that are so different from how Americans kind of process coziness I guess um so I feel like it's a great way to learn about another culture and kind of pick up some of the things that really work for them and how to create like a more happy comfortable um slow hookah like lifestyle <laughs> my last favorite this month is chocolate I love chocolate and I've been eating these milk chocolate non perils from Whole Foods I have been just like extremely into chocolate over this last month I mean, who doesn't love chocolate, right? But I've been eating my body weight in chocolate this last month, um, and these are just the latest victims of that obsession. I've always been a dark chocolate girl, and I've recently gotten into the milk chocolate, so that's kind of exciting for me. I'm feeling very wild, very crazy for getting into the milk chocolate. But these were on sale at Whole Foods, so I picked them up, and they're they're pretty darn good, so I would highly recommend trying these. Those are my April favorites. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button so I know you liked it. It makes me feel good. I mean, how selfish of me, but please do it. Also, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos. I have a vlog coming out on Tuesday all about this last week. I've been weekly vlogging, so if you like vlogs, check that out. I had a blogger event this week, and we got a chair delivery from Urban Outfitters. Lots of really exciting stuff in my book, so check that out if you want. Um, and I will see you guys then, I guess. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you soon. Bye!